Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about how can you query your CSV data using Azure OpenAI and this video is particularly for those who wants to query a simple CSV wherein they don't have lot much of data but still there are some columns which is easy to query and get answers with. So let's get started with it and in this video we will not discuss much about the embedding, chunking and all because those are part of advanced level uh, scenarios. So let me quickly show you how we can do this. So I have already installed OpenAI and I have imported these three packages over here. And in next cell you can see that I'm reading my configuration which is having all the keys and the endpoint related details that I have grabbed from Azure portal. And this is my CSV file which I am reading in a data frame. Here you can see it's like having five columns, five uh, columns. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking all of these five columns and just constructing a single column which is which will hold all the values. So I'm having one more column called combine which will have all these values so that we will not lose the connection between which is here, which is the name, all these things. So let me quickly show you how it looks like. So this is my new data frame you can see here. And then what I'm doing is I'm from OpenAI, I'm importing Azure OpenAI and generating the instance of a client. So here we need three different things. One is our AI OpenAI API key, which is definitely Azure OpenAI API key. Then we need the version and the endpoint details. So these are the three things which you can grab it from the Azure portal. And then I'm saying this is the, my query, which movie got the highest rating. And you can see that when we'll query, we will just consider these five rows so that you can easily validate whether our response is correct or not. But in real life, definitely you can take more. So, and then I'm saying uh, the context because before querying, we need to pass this data to OpenAI as well. So what we are doing is uh, we are just taking everything and converting into the JSON. So let me create that as well. Okay, now it's simple. We are using GPT-4. We have the system role, which we are saying that you are a helpful assistant who answers only from the given context. And then we are defining the context as well as the query as part of the user role. So let's execute this cell as well. And it should give us the response. If I will look at the response, you will see that the movie Modern Romance got the highest rating of 7.3, which you can also see over here. Let me ask another question wherein we will ask how many are certified or not. So I have already written a question here and we'll say how many movies were not uh, certified. And you can see that four movies were not certified. So this is what we have. So you can see exactly four movies were not certified. So this is how easy it is to grab your CSV, push it into the data frame, construct a combined a column and then pass it on to the Azure OpenAI endpoint. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me know in comments if this is the use case you were looking for. Thanks for watching.